Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sitting down to do a full on first impressions and wear test of the brand new Glow Wish Multi Dew Skin Tint. This is the new baby of Huda Beauty and Wishful Skin Care. So I believe this has skincare benefits as well as like the makeup side. So it's kind of like a hybrid of the two brands that Huda has launched. I'm just gonna read some things off of her website before I get into the full on review. So this is $37 on her website or 32 pounds over on Cult Beauty. It's called the Glow Wish Multi Dew Skin Tint and I believe there are 13 shades in total. I personally have got a few different shades here so hopefully I'll be able to find a really good match. It says that this product is dewy and it has second skin vibes which I love. I'm all about the dewy medium to light kind of coverage these days. So hopefully this lives up to that expectation. It says on her website that Glow Wish Multi Dew Skin Tint is a radiant moisture packed skin tint that instantly brightens your complexion and blurs pores for a soft focus dewy finish. It's perfect for the ultimate no makeup makeup look, the sheer coverage illuminates your complexion without hiding it, and the light reflective pearl pigments effortlessly enhance your natural beauty. It'll literally change your glow game forever. It said it's available in 13 stretchable shades, which I kind of feel like it's probably very forgiving, so you don't need to have like the perfect, perfect, perfect match. I think that means that one shade will suit quite a few different skin tones, which is quite good. And I kind of expect that from quite light coverage foundations. Um, it's got a blendable application, a dewy finish, a pump applicator, high performance makeup with skin loving ingredients. It says that this has actually been infused with ingredients like Damascus Rose Oil, which is actually in their Wishful Get Even Rose Gel which is actually in their Wishful Get Even Rose Oil and a sustainably sourced red bell pepper extract. So the rose oil soothes, clarifies and locks in moisture and the red pepper extract helps to protect the skin against effects of digital pollution like the blue light light that you have from like your phone. Apparently 92.6% of the formula is naturally derived, which I think is amazing. And it gives your skin what it needs to help prevent the sign of premature aging, dark spots and dullness. This is literally what I look for in a lot of my skincare and makeup these days. Last but not least, it's also vegan, fragrance free, water, sweat, transfer proof, non comedogenic I can never say that word, 100% recyclable sulfate and paraben free, which I think is amazing because those are all things that I tend to like kind of look for in a lot of my skincare and makeup. Now that I've got all of that out of the way, I have got my beauty blender ready. I'm actually going to prime my skin very, very quickly. My skin is prepped and cleansed and everything, but I am going to pop some of this Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer all over my face and then we can move on to the fun stuff. So I've actually got four shades in front of me. Right off the bat, they look exactly the same. <laughs> I've got three, four, five, and six, um, which are light, light medium, medium, and medium tan. I think I'm gonna go in with number four, which is light medium, because I am quite pale at the moment, and I hope this will work for my kind of skin tone. For, for skin tone reference, I'm generally a MAC NC35, but I think I've become more of an NC30 now, because I literally haven't been on holiday for obviously ages um, and I've not been able to see much sun, although it is a little bit sunny here at the moment in the UK, it's very cloudy today, but I'm going to get this onto my face and hope for the best for the skin tone match. I'm going to pump a couple of pumps onto the back of my hand and I'm going to start blending that out onto my skin and then as always I will zoom you guys in to give you a full on close up of exactly how this looks like on my skin in natural daylight. I do have a few lights in front of me, but other than that I'm shooting in 4K so it will be as close to the real eye as possible. As you can see, I've zoomed you guys in really, really close so you can see exactly what it looks like on my skin. Right now it looks very, very glowy. And this side of my face I haven't got anything on and this is the only side that I've put it on just so that you can see the difference. The color match isn't that bad. I could probably get away with wearing a slightly lighter color, but my forehead is a lot more tan than like the rest of my face because I was out in the sun in London the other day. So I think I'm going to get away with wearing this shade all over, especially once I've got my concealer and stuff on. But so far, it actually looks very very skin-like, but I don't think this will be transfer proof and smudge proof and all of that because of the level of like dewy it is, but I could be eating my words by the end of the day. <laughs> um, but this is what the before and after looks like. I personally very, very, very much like it so far. But now I'm just gonna get Glow Wish onto the other half of my face and make sure everything is blended out. And then I'll show you another little close up look of my skin fully, fully done. So it is on the whole of my face now and I feel very, very, very glowy, which I kind of like in the summertime. It's definitely not gonna be a wintertime kind of base for me, 
but I'm really, really happy with the way that it looks. It still looks like my skin. You can see a little bit of my freckles peeking through, but it has covered them quite nicely, but it still feels quite light on the skin. I used about four pumps, which is quite a lot of pumps. I think I could have got one away with just wearing two and a half, maybe three pumps at max. But I'm really happy with the level of like coverage I've got going on. Um, I definitely feel like I can't really see much of my freckles. Let me zoom you guys in. So we are up close and personal so you guys can see. It is very, very shiny and glowy. Um, and you can kind of see my freckles very slightly peeking through. It doesn't seem to be settling into anywhere underneath my eyes or anything like that. It'll be interesting to see how well this lasts throughout the day. Um, but really happy with the glowiness. I feel like this is sunshine summer skin in a bottle. So far, I'm loving it. Now that I've got my base all on, uh, my first impressions are that I really, really like it. It's such a me kind of base to wear at this time of year. Um, but I wanna do the rest of my base on camera with you guys. So I'm gonna get my Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer onto the usual areas that I like to brighten and highlight my face. And I'm gonna blend all of that out. And then I'm gonna set everything in place using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder. The concealer went on beautifully, even the setting powder went on beautifully. It's not really moved the base around, which I really, really like. And I feel like the color is already looking so much better when it comes to like matching my skin tone. I'm gonna finish the rest of my base off and I'm gonna take a lot of the products that I've been just loving wearing recently. So for bronzer, I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer and I'm gonna get that into the usual areas that I like to look bronzed and sun-kissed and make sure that's all nice and blended out. And then for blush, I'm taking this Pixi Cream Blush right here, which is called On The Glow Blush. And it's in the shade Fleur, and I'm gonna get that onto my cheeks and I blend that out as well. The cream blusher actually went on really, really nicely. It's still not really moved much of the base around, which kind of makes me think maybe this base, although it's really glowy, will last really well. Um, but now it's time to get my highlight on. I'm gonna take my Champagne Pop and get that onto the high points of my cheeks and all the other areas that I genuinely like to look really highlighted and glowy. So I've just done my lashes, my brows, and my lips off camera I will leave all the products that I've used in the description box below and I've just realized that I also have this glowish powder which I might as well just try out I'm gonna swatch a little bit for you on my hand first this is actually the shade light and it's quite full coverage it's actually quite of a dark shade considering it's light 01 but I will very quickly just do a little dusting on my forehead just to see what it does because I feel like it's more of a bronzy shade than anything else. It's very, very lightweight. I mean, I'm basically just reviewing the cream product rather than this powder product, but seeing as I had it, I thought I would try it out. And personally, I'd probably use this as a bit of a light bronzer, but that's what it looks like on the skin. It actually blended in really, really, really nicely. But that is the end of this like tutorial first impressions part. And I'm basically gonna be doing some check-ins throughout the day. It is almost one o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm gonna wear this for eight hours and see what we're looking like by the end of the day. So far, my first impressions is that I really, really, really like it. Recently, I've been wearing a lot of the It Cosmetics your Skin But Better foundation and the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Radiance foundation. Those two have got to be my favorites and like kind of go-tos at the moment. But right off the bat, I feel like this could be in the runnings with those two. Um, but yeah, those are my first thoughts. Um, all the products that I've used and mentioned so far will be linked in the description box below. But I guess I will see you in a few hours time for my first check-in. I'll see you then. So it's officially my first check-in of today. It is four o'clock. And my skin looks pretty decent. I mean, it does look a little bit oily in like my chin area, but um, I don't feel like it's really come off anywhere. I'll do a little zoom in as well so you guys can see. I am right in front of the window, so I'm in natural daylight. And this is what my skin's looking like. It actually still looks very, very, very similar to when I first put it on. It hasn't really moved much, it's not settled into any fine lines or anything either. Overall, I'm actually quite happy with the way that it's looking. Considering it's been quite hot today as well, um, it's lasting pretty well. I'm very impressed. <laughs> I feel like that's all really I've got to say. I mean, my nose looks a little bit oily here and my chin kind of area looks a little bit oily. Um, but in the next check-in, I will wear a mask and see if it transfers off. I will include some photos right here of 
the iPhone flash, what it looks like, and then also just like a normal iPhone photo so you can see the difference. Um, but so far, I feel like it looks really, really nice. I'm not complaining. Um, I feel like this could be a very, very high runner up for a like base for me to wear, especially in like the heat um, and in the spring and summer months because it just makes my skin look really nice and glowy and just very natural. But yeah, I feel like my first check-in is done and I will see you at seven o'clock. <laughs> I'm back for my second check-in of the day. It is currently like 10 past seven and I thought I'd put a mask on and like touch my face and see if this actually is transfer proof. I actually don't think it is right off the bat because my skin has looked a little bit more on the glowier, oilier side over the last like hour or so. Um, but I've not actually had this on for very long, but I'm thinking I'd just take it off and have a little look because I have pressed it onto my face to see whether or not anything happens. So. I am gonna take, okay. This actually isn't bad. There's not that much foundation that's come off. I thought they'd be way, 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 way more than this. I've got so many other foundations that like come off quite easily on my mask, but this one has held up pretty well. I mean, I do feel like it's breaking up a little bit around my like cheek kind of area. And it is looking a little bit like Mm, a little bit weird around my mouth. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see. Do you see what I mean? It just looks a bit like bunched up in this area and my forehead still looks okay. I feel like all the grease that was on here has been soaked up by the, by the mask. I've actually, considering I've worn this for six hours now, for a really, 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 really glowy foundation, this is not that bad. I'm not mad at it. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's coming off. On my no, it is, it is, it is coming off on my fingers a little bit when I do touch it, but um, I'm not mad at it purely because of the amount of like glow that's in it. I kind of thought that this would happen. I knew it wouldn't be transfer proof and all of that. Um, but if I take that out of the equation, um, I'm still really happy with the way that my skin's looking. It's still very like natural looking. It's not too cakey in a sense, apart from this kind of area here, which is very, very, very minimal. I mean, the rest of it seems okay. I have been touching my face and not too much of it has come off, but I mean, six hours in is not that bad. Um, I'm gonna do one more check-in at 10-ish. So um, I'll see you guys then and hopefully I'll have like my final, final, final thoughts to tell you guys at then. Last check-in of the day is just almost quarter to 10. Um, I was about to take my makeup off and then I realized Oh crap, I forgot to film the last check-in of the day. Um, so I'm doing this on my phone. I'm standing opposite like my lights that I have. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can kind of see it's kind of come off around my nose. I have eaten, a little bit has come off on my chin kind of area. It's just kind of this area where I feel like it has bunched up a little bit, but everywhere it still looks pretty fresh. And I feel like for a glowy foundation, this has actually lasted very very well i'm very impressed when it comes to really glowy bases i don't really expect like 12 hour wear um i definitely think this is a type of foundation that i would wear on holiday like in the evenings because it still like lets my skin breathe uh, my skin still feels and looks like skin but it's got that really nice dewy glowiness i know like holidays and things like that are still a little bit iffy at the moment especially here in the uk um so i think i will definitely wear this um like in the summer here and yeah i'm just I'm really excited to try this out with like different primers um i love using the urban decay all nighter setting spray as my primer and i feel like that will definitely help this last even longer um but yeah i think overall I'm very, very, very happy with this foundation. Uh, I'll definitely be wearing it again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, if there are any other bases you want me to review and do like full day wear tests, then please let me know in the comments. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. I will leave all of my social media links below in the info box, including where you can get this base from as well. I think that is everything from me for now and I'm sending all of the love and light in my heart to you guys and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye!